Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name's Chris and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another video. And in today's video, we're going to have a look at Cardano, some interesting metrics to take a look at, some huge adoption numbers. Um, so I really want to sort of dig into that with you all. Uh, I think this project is a sleeping giant. Obviously, don't take my word for it. Go and do some research on it. I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, this should be treated as educational purposes only and never invest more than you're willing to lose in this space. It's a very volatile market um so you know if you enjoy this sort of content mash that like button it really does support the channel it helps push out the content to like-minded individuals and it's much appreciated nick and myself really do appreciate that uh, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already tapping that bell selecting all the notifications so you can keep yourself up to date with everything that happens in the crypto space we normally do about five videos a day that's a lot of content. Um, right, let's get down to the desktop and let's have a look at everything related to Cardano. So we're going to start a coin market cap uh, currently down 8.24%. Uh, obviously, the whole market is pulling back. This is something that we've expected. It's currently uh, valued at $1.09, um, ranked ninth by market cap and um it's recently been as high as one dollar 25 uh before this pullback so you know it's a, a project that is starting to see some real traction obviously we've got an upgrade due i believe in june and uh you know normally what we see with um you know if we go back through the analysis for, for cardano is we normally see uh a, you know a bit of price discovery in the lead up to you know these big updates so we're expecting the same thing here we're not expecting it to be any different now with all that said obviously the whole market's pulled back you know we were expecting this this could be an opportunity to get in i don't do technical analysis and um, you can jump into our discord and ask one of the team to have a look for you um, nick will be in the discord a little bit later today it's free to join our discord link is in the description of the video would love to see you there um, but moving on um, really wanted to sort of talk about this here so this is fantastic adoption cardano marks new all-time high with the number of holders reaching 5.1 million holders and uh, this is basically uh, an increase of 48 percent year to date and i just think that is that is a monstrous number let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on this i i think this is just a huge surge of growth and the thing is you know what i honestly believe is this is only the start right i'm expecting much more growth um i think it's going to be you know a few hundred percent a year to date from today but you know maybe we'll have to snip this and come back to to this video um you know and see how we actually you know how we actually progress over the next year or so now that is not the only news that i wanted to to sort of highlight again i wanted to highlight this because i think it again is great for the adoption of not just cardano but cryptocurrency generally you've got cardano polka dot and solana etps uh, debut on Europe's uh, largest stock exchange today. Again, this is something that I think, you know, a lot of people probably aren't talking about. I think it's really interesting. And basically, you know, what this is going to allow is going to allow um, customers um, to, to be able to buy these assets without having to set up like crypto wallets. So it's going to be easier for people to get in. And I think, you know, with it being easier for people to, to get involved, believe that it's going to be you know better for adoption so you know i think that it's going to be more the wealthier sort of people that are going to be utilizing these sorts of uh, opportunities but ultimately it's a, a fantastic thing to to be seeing you know i, I want to talk about like the, the market pulling back i i quite often look at um the sort of uh, adoption metric in particular when we have these pullbacks purely because you know it shows to to me like looking at you know all of the different things sort of related to, to adoption that we're still gonna see higher highs you know it's not like things have really slowed down when it comes to progression we're seeing more and more advertising we're seeing regulators now come out and say that you know they're they're you know building frameworks 
you know, um, I don't think they're all going to get it right. And I think there's going to be different, you know, uh, governments doing different iterations of frameworks for, for regulating crypto. Um, but what I do believe is over time, they will make amendments and it will eventually work, you know, flawlessly. Um, but, you know, it, it's definitely um, something that we're seeing more of, more adoption, more advertising, um, just so much more. You know, I think things are getting easier to to get people in. Off off ramps are are improving as well, and, and ultimately, I think you know, um, you're seeing governments starting to see the opportunity around the the, the tax um, opportunity that is there, and I think that's something that's going to be something that's needed currently with the amount of debt, the amount of money printing. Um, and, you know, the talk of, of um, I guess, inflation, um, interest rate hikes and all this sort of stuff will lead people into appreciating assets, in my humble opinion. Interested to get your views and opinions on that. But that's my kind of view on things. If we have a look at some of the, the metrics sort of broken down on Cardano, you know, the, the ADA wallets, they're all increasing now at over 3.2 million wallets. You know, staking uh, again, seventy two point four nine percent staked. Um, again, just fantastic numbers. ADA wallets per day. We kind of don't really need to go into that. The um, total value locked that has decreased, but I think that's a market wide metric that's kind of showing in in all of the different assets. And one thing that I would say is the markets spook really easy. You know, they overreact massively. Um, it's not just crypto that you know you see this with you know ultimately you know all of these different you know asset markets uh, are, are all sort of uh spooked at the moment and all sort of pulling back so you know it's definitely interesting to, to have a look at it the average block load is is in green at 7189 and um, so you know guess transactions are down on the day so that'd be why it's in green the adjusted volume per day is you know 64 billion there like you know it's crazy numbers native tokens are, are, are up here right and uh we've got what over four million now um and then your you know your um transactions per day is actually currently down right um you know total value locked now at two um 133.13 million usd it's down 7.58 percent again this is mainly because of the market um, you got 65.47% uh, dominance for MinSwap. One thing that stood out to me was ADAX actually today with, you know, a very poor showing of 9.46k total value locked. I mean, uh, you know, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on, on, on ADAX. Like that doesn't look like something that is state of the art and changing the world as described on their website. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Um, it doesn't look like it's translated into, you know, a, a viable uh, product so far, but maybe things will change over time and I'll eat my words. Um, but I think, you know, there's you know, far better uh, projects out there uh, at the moment. And uh, I think that shows in the total value locked. Um, but do let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. I just wanted to kind of highlight that. So um, for me, it's really, really interesting to see, you know, the adoption for, for Cardano as well as other you know projects in the space I think you know we've got you know what 48 percent um increase on um the number of people that are investing in crypto in the US and various other regions uh, which I covered earlier I think you know you've got Cardano uh number of users increasing above 5.1 million again I think this is huge You've got all the advertising, you've got the regulations, you've got the UK saying they want to be the hub for crypto and, uh, you know, having a government backed NFT. I just think there's just so, so much bullish sentiment um, and, and, you know, news articles out there at the moment demonstrating that we're bang on track for more and more adoption. Um, it's really exciting to me. I'm interested to get your views and opinions. I know the market's pulled back. I think, you know, people shouldn't worry so much. You know, it's all about your time horizon. This is just my opinion. You know, it's all about your time horizon. You know, in the short term, it doesn't really matter too much. In the long term, you know, these um, protocols, as long as they've got solid teams, solid tech, great use case, 
um, you know, and they they can finance and run their projects well, and they've got great communities that are passionate and supportive and engaged, then, you know, these projects should do really, really well. But you've got to go do your own research. You can't take my word or any other person's word on YouTube or Twitter, you know, got to go do that you know, your own research it's really important uh, make sure you don't fall for any scams and all that sort of stuff you know it's a volatile market um so with all that said you know for me I, i'm so bullish right now even though the markets are red i think there's some fantastic opportunities and that's how i see them i don't see this as a negative i see it as you know a potential opportunity now i'm not currently purchasing anything but i still see this as opportunity right in front of you you know, there's certain protocols that you know are more superior fundamentally and technically now than they were at their previous all-time high you know we've seen this you know in the past with the likes of amazon with all their internal metrics being up but the price being down this sometimes at points in these cycles happens and you know it's whether you decide that actually it is an opportunity and you see it that way whether you seize the moment but you know only you can make that decision um we're not financial advisors it's just our opinions these are projects that we believe in um but you know we would say go do your research and see whether these projects resonate with yourself um i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did mash up that like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed already tapping that bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video and i'll catch you in the next one take care